Worldizing is great for making sounds that you make in a studio sound like they're happening in the world. For instance, uh, there are some uh, low-end subwoofer tones in Inception. We've used them in other films, too. We played back um, oscillator sounds and sounds created on a synth over speakers in an environment, in a, on a sound stage, on a street, in different environments. It gives the sound a lot of random acoustic accidents that occur happily and just make the sound feel like it's, oh, we're hearing that in the world. Uh, for instance, in Inception, the um, Edith Piaf song, which is the guy's cue that they're in a dream and to come back out of the dream, was all worldized for the outside scenes. We wanted the audience to feel like everybody around them would be hearing that same sound. So it's happening in the world, not in their head, or not like a, st a score of the movie, which is happening uh, for the benefit of the audience, not for the benefit of the characters. And what that does is it creates, we recorded it on a street, on a, on a set street here at Warner Brothers. You just get a lot of acoustic accidents that you wouldn't get using a, a plug-in or using a, you know, a verb, verb plug-in. There's a little bit of background noise, which helps, which I think lends credibility and reality to it. We're going to do some worldizing next week on a speech that's being read over a radio. Somebody puts a microphone to a PA system next to the radio, so we'd hear it outside on a PA speaker, and then in a hallway, like a cloth-covered speaker in a hallway. So we're going to record this speech in all three of those, PA horn, a little desktop shortwave radio, and a cloth-covered speaker in a hallway to get the different, you know, completely different sounds for each one. And there's another instance in the same film of uh, something that's being read back over getting a small speaker, a PA horn, and a car radio, an old car radio, a 40s car radio. So we're going to get a, 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 sh a short-range AM transmitter to pipe the signal into the AM car, old car radio and find that frequency, dial into it so you can, it actually sounds like they're finding that frequency. All that stuff you could emulate using separate sound effects, but th this just, it, it is going to sound, you know, totally real right out of the box. You don't have to do anything to it. And yeah, you, you paint yourself a little bit into a corner because you can't obviously back off at any of that treatment. But you do the best you can on site, and you find, a, you know, find a proximity and a, a location you like. I just find that it's it 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 goes right into the movie. You know, we've been recording a lot of our group ADR outside for the last couple of years, last several years, and again, that material just goes right into the movie. It sounds like production. I find that going outside a lot uh, really. Is what I'm after because it, it, you know, it 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 puts the sound out into the world and, um, but I think worldizing in any situation does the same thing. It it, it adds an acoustic quality. It, there's a little bit of an EQ difference. Um, it just there's a lot of little subtle tells that uh, you get when you do it. Uh, rather than, in other words, you're finding the sound in the real world rather than using your imagination and memory to recreate that using plugins and tools. So you're you're actually um, you're actually I often get inspired by worldizing because you you hear the sound in a different way. The world is impacting the sound. It's it's affecting it, and uh, I just find that to be much more a much more realistic approach and a much more realistic result than using my memory and imagination to try to create something that does that. Um, so there's just something to be said for the real thing, I've always felt. It's often the kind of thing where you don't need to add a lot of extra effects to it. It's, it kind of works by itself. And you know, if it, if it conveys reality, I think it's going a long way towards getting the audience to you know, flow with a movie and not, not feel like, I guess, emo being more emo emotionally invested in the film because they believe they can identify with what the characters are feeling and kind of feel like they're in the, 
in the film. I always try to live through the actors, through the characters vicariously to to make me feel what they would be feeling and to try to, you know, recreate the world around them and the whatever situation they're in. And worldizing works really well to accomplish that.